But I promise you, like now I'm with a girl that I'm like, I'm, I'm she's going to be it for me. Mm-hmm. Like legitimately, like she's going to be my girl mm-hmm. for, I mean, it, c- like, cause we mesh so well in every other Avenue yeah. that it makes every other relationship that I've had look silly funny you know what okay. i'm saying that's so what most people say they're like you, i never knew how good it could be till i was with xyz yeah, yeah, yeah. person well yeah. you can you can it, but it's also like even if for whatever reason and i'm not saying you know but, but if we don't work out she raised the bar for every other woman that i'm ever going to be with Ooh. so it's right. it's the idea that you don't want to be with somebody that's just going to kind of like well okay like just because you get along doesn't mean that's your person yeah like the the idea like i'm like i like i we've been together for two years mm-hmm. now and it's like i all the things that you talk about love and write about love, um, I never really understood them. Even when I was married, like I was, it was good. Like my mm-hmm. marriage was good for I would say like nine and a half, nine yeah, years. Yeah, which is a good run. Yeah, 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 but it just it was never like I I I never had that moment of like oh my gosh, like my like my soul misses this person. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Shooters Gotta Shoot. I am your host, Erica Spira, and today I've got a great guest for you guys this week. Uh, but first, if you're listening to us and you want to watch us, head over to the YouTube page, all right? The link is in the comments. Search us, Shooters, Shooters Gotta Shoot Pod on YouTube. It's a little more fun to watch us hang out. And if you are watching us, hit the subscribe button. My God. I think at this point, when this episode comes out, I believe we'll hit 2,000 subscribers. So thank you to all of you who hit that fucking button and uh, keep, keep supporting your gal. It's a free way, an easy way to support the show. Uh, and if you have a little cash in your pocket, you can also join our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash shooters gonna shoot. We're doing extra episodes again every week over there. Uh, but really, that really helps the show, helps me pay for the studio, and helps me get great guests like the one I have for you guys today. So patreon.com slash shooters gotta shoot. Join the gang. Uh, join the dream, okay? I got laid off from my day job. So really appreciate it now more than ever. Uh, my next step would be health insurance. So really appreciate you guys. Anyway, uh, hit it, Fonzie. Um, I guess for today, you might have seen his new special drop on YouTube called Coronation. Everybody, please put your hands together for the very funny Justin Smith. Hey. Oh, I love it. Hello, is, welcome to the show. I don't get I don't get walk up music on a podcast very often. But uh, I'm, I'm digging. I'm into it. Listen, Big I'm, time. A, I'm a sports gal. Obviously, we're called Shooters Got to Shoot, so it's like I love a little. I love a little. Let's get jazz. Oh, let's absolutely. get pumped to be here. I love it. Uh, as always. Very, very happy to see you. I'm so happy to see yeah. you. Yeah, you're based in Tennessee. You're, you're right, torn all Nashville. over. Yeah, you yeah. said you're what? Working Oklahoma soon? It's coming up next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Oklahoma in December, and then uh, uh, I'm in uh, uh, what? Uh, Omaha on New Year's oh, okay. Eve. Okay, you're traveling all that's over. That's real good for a podcast. We'll start it out just uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's, no, you're that's good. Great. You're good. That's great for the listeners. You're good. Oh, skip. <laughs> Justin Smith comedy. You want to look him up? Go check out his <laughs> store. Congrats on the special. Thank you so much. Uh, but I'm very excited to have you here. Uh, I always like to ask our guests up top. Uh, since we are shooting, shoot. Uh, since we are shooters, got to shoot. We like shooting our shot. Right. Do you have any shooting your shot stories that stick out in your mind? I mean, I've had. I, I'm a dude that I very much am like. A, I like to go for it. I'm an. Okay. I've been. Uh, my buddy one time told me. He goes, man, when you go all in so fast, and I go, well, if I if I'm supposed to be with this girl, like I was, I'm kind of like a romantic. Mm. So I'm like, uh, if I go all in and it, we're supposed to be together, then then it's gonna work. And if not, it saves me time. Okay, so are you also you are actually more of a relationship guy, at least one woman guy at a time. It sounds. Oh like. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like I feel like most of the time, whenever I see you, we catch up. You usually always have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I once I'm into somebody, like I'm in, I'm in. Okay. And so, All right. And sometimes that you know whatever, but like I mean, I've 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 had my my spells of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Of, uh, we all do of trick or treating. What you would say? Yeah, uh, it's just you know it's interesting. I was debating this the other day of I was like, it's a lot of times. We will shit on men, especially like we're in comedy, so we see people blow up, get a little fame, get a little heat. Suddenly they got like, you know, all these DMs and they're out there, you know, living their life. They're hooking up with many different women, you know, inviting women to shows, whatever, doing whatever they do. And I always go, yeah, I don't know what that's like to have (laughs) my DMs flooded with hot, attractive men that... I would hook up with. Well, that makes two of us. Well. <laughs> I mean, I I think I can get a three point one on any social media app and be like, people are like, oh my gosh, you're so funny. Like I've never related more to a like. There's a, a episode of Marin 
where he's blowing up like he has one of the biggest podcasts in the world. Yeah. And it just shows his greeting table after. And it's just women putting like Rice Krispie treats on his thing. You're like, oh, oh we love your show. Like, there's nothing worse than a girl. Coming to be like, oh, I love your show. You're like, oh, I don't want you to like it like that. You know, like, <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I feel you on that one. We're, yeah. that, I think it's why we get along so well. Well, yeah, but that's the thing of I just was like, hey, if my DMs were flooded and right. happen. I'd be out there having a It'd good be time. So much fun. I would I would lose count of my body count. You know right. what I mean? Like, so I'm like, no judgment if that's what you're doing. Cause yeah. I'm like, I think I would explore it. I'd have a good fucking time. And then I'd hit the point and go, okay, I'm done with this. And I'm kind of back to my monogamous like to be with one person right. self. Cause it's like, no matter what you're doing, a lot of times it gets old. We get like a little tired of it. Right. So it's like I've had, yeah, those hookup streaks where you're just like, oh, I'm just having fun. I'm in my little hoe phase. And then all of a sudden I'm like, all right, this is meaningless. This means nothing to me. I'm over it. Have you ever had like a good streak? Like you're like, oh. like almost. I, I almost hate to bring like a like a Mark no, Norman. No, no. Like you're like, <laughs> you just you're just so good. You're just like you just want to high five everybody. You're like, dude, dude. Oh, I mean, like that, like the future song. I'm on one. Yeah. I'm dude. I can't be stopped. Yeah. I can't be stopped. <laughs> no, the thing is, I don't think I've had a crazy huge streak. It's more for me. It's just more the mindset of like. I'm just looking to have fun right now. Right. And that's like, currently I'm in that because I have, like, I got laid off my job. I got to move by the end of the month out of my apartment. My landlord is luckily letting me break the lease. So I don't have to pay this high rent. That so sounds- it's like when my life becomes chaotic, um, I don't feel like I don't have this want for a relationship, but it's more because I feel inadequate of like, well, what do I have to offer this relationship right now? I'm bringing no stability to the table, which is funny of like, yeah, a lot of men don't really care if you bring right. that. But it's also, I'm like, I feel like if your life is chaotic, you just attract people that like that your life is that way. Right. And they kind of want it to stay that way. And then the minute it's like, I'll get my things together one by one. It's like, yeah, because that leads towards me going, oh, okay, now I want a commitment. Right. So it's like, yeah, people that are drawn to the chaotic, wild and free. It's like they're attracted to that because you're not kind of like putting this commitment pressure in any sense right. of the word. They're like, oh, yeah, she's got a lot going on. So she won't she won't notice I didn't text her for five days yeah. or whatever. So it's like currently I'm in that phase of wanting to have fun. But it's like I just I feel like I'm too much of a workaholic well, to be, I'm, a, I'm be a true sh- hoe. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked that you just don't have like dudes beating down your door because you oh, you are you. literally the epitome of – what a girl like you like you like sports you love hanging out you love you're you're not it's not like if i've sat across from you at a table it's not like oh my gosh like i gotta have a notepad like a podcast notepad of topics to come up with yeah. well, what are we gonna talk about tonight like you're right. not like that at all and i know you're you know you you from the discussions that we've had you're you know you're a, a tomcat yeah 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 you know? I so go it's for like it. so it's like the, it it's, the, it's the whole thing where you're like it, it kind of makes it's kind of like that thing you know that quote of uh, um I heard a comic say about Patrice one time where it's like, if you can't make it, then how am I going to make it? You know what I'm saying? Okay. You're like, I look at somebody like you and like, and I'm not single now, you know, thankfully, but it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, no, 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 no I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> awful. I'm, oh, thank I'm, God. I have, a, I'm in a committed relationship yeah. at holiday time, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Thank God. I'm not you right now. But. I mean, I have somebody to, to <laughs> toast marshmallows with on Christmas Eve and somebody to kiss on New Year's Eve. Yeah. How great. I mean, can you God imagine damn. just not having that? Can oh. you? I can't. It's impossible. I for can me. tell you right now, just by the way this conversation is gone, I'm going to be the most hated guest <laughs> no, you're not. by all female single no, listeners. You're not. I'm, I'm t- busting your balls. I'm busting your balls. You were giving me a compliment. Of course. You, you basically were like, if you can't hoe, who could hoe? I'm telling you. Which, uh, that's very who nice. who else? Is, who, I mean, nobody else can do it like you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, I already have herpes. What am I afraid of? Uh, exactly right. I'm truly, you know, what, who cares now? You're, I've you're had the worst like, of the worst. Huh? If, you're, if you're watching that, if you're watching like a Roman battle movie, like, you know, uh, the, like the big, huge armies clashing yeah. together you're like the you're like the warrior that has two swords like you don't even bother with a shield yeah, yeah you're yeah. just all offense just i love it yeah this i'll shoot great. i'll shoot if i want to shoot yeah, yeah but it's funny because i'll get in i'll get in my modes where i go you know what right now i would like to be pursued i get yeah, in my modes course. i go i'm gonna let the universe do something Sh- send me someone you want to send me someone you know because yeah. it's like obviously all of us like being pursued it's flattering to have oh, a little for sure. someone just initiate that little interest but it's a uh, i'm a very i'll shoot my shot but i'm like uh oh if i don't if i don't feel i get a little heat back Right. Nah, like recently there was uh oh hilarious i haven't i don't think i brought this up i told well, i told this story of i had a hot smooth move of was out uh guy at a bar it was someone i didn't know before but like we're out drinking have a good time leaving the bar i just handed him my uber app 
insert the address of like put your address in. Oh, hot move, this, right? That is a woo pro level shit. Okay? You never told anybody this before? I think I told it on an episode ago. I forget. I'm telling you, that's, I did tell. That's, then let you know. That's a move. However, I am human, everyone. And then um, same guy recently sent him screenshots of our conversation. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, and I felt I felt that was a weird comma of me being like, I got this fucking hot move. I'm the shit. I'm a pro. And then I fucking send a screenshot, mean to send it to a friend, send it to him, and just was like, well, I wanna, I wanna die. Oh. I wanna die in a hole. And it wasn't anything bad. But here's the thing: is, so was it a screenshot about how it was a hot move that you did? No, it was just oh. of my conversation with that person because I said to my friend, he, oh, he moved, uh, he moved okay. back to New York. He's in Long Island now. And I said to my friend, I was like, I kind of want to hit this guy just to, like hook up again and have some yeah. fun. I said, but I don't know if he's into it. And she's like, why not? And I sent, went meant to just send her the conversation, last convo, sent it to him. I was like, fuck. Hilarious of he thought it was like for something else. But then I just I just owned it. And I just was like, well, I don't know if this is better if I explain this or not. And he was like, who's to say? And I just sent him a voice memo. And I was like, um, I was like, hey, I was like, I was talking to my friend. I said, this guy is coming back to New York. I kind of want to hit him up. I said, I felt like he's not into it. I was like, hence the screenshots that I accidentally sent to you. And then right. I just said, yeah, I think you're a lot of fun. I'd love to hang out again sometime if you're in New York, but I didn't want to feel like I was bothering you. I was like, so if you're down, I'd be down. And then he just like talked to me. He was like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'd be down. That'd be cool. Like, we could definitely hang, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. Well, I mean, I don't think I don't think there's anything wrong with the analytic screenshot. It's like he knows what it was about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he knows. But I think it's like as long as it's not like, hey, is it like as long as it kind of doesn't seem like you're – fishing for a relationship or whatever so this is this is the hard vibe right right is it's like i feel like if you're too like hey i just want to fuck guys don't like that either well depends on who you ask yeah yeah it very much does but it's like it was that's why it's like i just kept it vague i was like you're fun love to hang out again i felt like you weren't into it whatever i kept it vague right but then i've had people be like i think you might have given the date and i was like i didn't say to date I was right like, just hang out i'm like that's not a date to me well not to get i mean not to get too personal but like my girl and i i met my girl in uh florida okay. i was i was in town for a comedy weekend and i was on uh, a dating app so you can read i mean if you have any if you know anything about social yeah. and dating like you can kind of see what direction that was mm. headed you know yeah and i hopefully i mean thankfully her family doesn't really understand that whole they haven't <laughs> they haven't connected that thing yet yeah. but you're like hey like I, I i always tell and i tell my family that we met like at she came to one of my shows okay and i was just you know i was on one so okay uh but but yeah. then you ended up yeah but we we, we had that thing. together yeah it's just i think if you let something kind of blossom naturally and granted most dudes are not like me uh but like i the idea of not looking for anything, but if something, you know, blossoms, like I love that. It just right. comes out of nowhere. Exactly. And like I said, my life's in chaos mode, so I'm a little like, uh, shit's going on. Uh, so yeah, but then funny of, I actually ended up hitting up, up last weekend. I had a show get canceled. I had nothing that night. I was like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. And I, said, I said, hey, I was like, uh, I, my show just got canceled tonight. Would you, any chance you'd be down to hang out? And he was like, I think I might have COVID. I've been like sick a couple days. I feel terrible. <sighs> But then he said, appreciate it, though. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No, don't oh. shake your head at me, Fonzie. I know. I know. Okay. And that was something I was just like, There's nothing worse it. than the finger cheek shaking your head. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the producer, but the producer just went like this. You goes, can't. <laughs> this finger makes it so, it, it goes from three condescending to nine. Mm. Just. But I was like, I have never been hit with, appreciate the offer. Oh. <laughs> but I just went, I was like. That so now, but I'm a very like I kind of shot that shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. But okay. I love I love that though because I've also I mean like as a some as a dude that's quiet like when I go and I hang out like if I'm single or whatever uh, and I'm sitting somewhere I'm always quiet because I'm never the guy that approaches because I never assume I I know so many stories and I've heard so many stories from so many friends where it's like guys just barrage and and berate like they're always trying to. Interesting, yeah. And 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 I, f I feel that exhaustion a lot. So I'm just like, I always have the thing of like, listen, if somebody's interested, they'll they'll just show some kind of interest. And most, then if most men look for a green light of some kind. Right, right. And uh, funny, there was a TikTok, I don't know if we'll get to it today, but there was one I pulled up and it was this advice this guy was saying, you can tell if a woman like gets within your vicinity of space. Right. Where he was like, often if a girl does not want to talk to you, she will like run away from your vicinity. Right. As opposed to put herself of like, okay, I'm only like a couple steps away. Now, I'm or... familiar with that reaction. Right. Like, I've, had that, I've had that one. 
Yeah, I don't know, but most people look for the green light because it's funny of like you say that like hot pursuit thing, but like uh, all the women I know, all of us are like, dude, now men don't pursue like at all. Like yeah. it's, it's just completely flipped that it's like, okay, like that story of the classic like braiding, braiding, braiding. We're like, all right, it's nice it was that it's gone away. Now I feel like a lot of men are on the fear side. Which, like, whatever study came out, it was, like, 82% of guys, like, prefer if the woman, quote, makes the first move. And it's just because they just want the signal of, like, hey, I'm not going to reject you. I would, like, go out right. with you. That's, like, the only single they want. It's just, like, would she? Yeah. You go, yeah, I would. And it's, like, then let them take it from there. Yeah. So, anyway, RIP to my hot Uber move guy. Uh, but I, I, st- I would still would say I would keep that one at the front of the playbook, like, on speed I dial. mean, it's that one move, of those. That move is... Oh, I mean, the move! Is a I great would, move. I would tell that story. The I'm gonna, t- I'm great. gonna tell that about like, <laughs> I'm like a legend. Like, I'm gonna tell my grandkids about. I knew this girl in New York one it's a time. Good move. She slid. Her, like, I'm like, I'm gonna tell like around a campfire. It's a good move. I think it's a good move. It's an amazing move. That's a hot move for men, women, anybody, whoever you date. Just fucking hand them your Uber. You know. Um. Okay. So, well, anyway, I meant to ask the shooting your shot story. Oh yeah. Is there a distinct one that sticks out to you? Uh. Yeah, I so there's uh, I grew up at a Christian background, so I went to a Christian college. Oh right, and didn't uh, you originally almost become like a pastor? Yeah, I yeah. mean I was on I was on Some the way. Real shit. I was on ex- the express track. Yeah, and uh, at a Christian college, uh, people couple up real fast. Well, of course, and they get married real fast. Yeah, because you're waiting till marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like a whole. Th- I mean, like they're but they're also like it's like I got four years to find uh, a life partner to go into ministry with. Got it. So it's like, they're kind of like pairing up. So it's like real, it's like a real fast. Yeah. You got four years to find a person because once you join a church or you get involved in a ministry, dating becomes uh, significantly harder. It's because like weird if I would assume almost easier if it's like, well, you got those church goers. Yeah. yeah you kind of have a pool, but it's also like, you can't fuck the whole pool. Like, obviously you can't. I mean, it's like hooking up with somebody at work. You're like, I'm at to see them yeah. every day right like even if you're not sorry i said fuck the whole poll it's like obviously yeah. they're not fucking yet but you know i mean i don't know I know but it's funny that like i know a few still... denominations that, that... <laughs> yeah right that's what i'm saying i mean oh god what was it there was some quote about like ray charles saying like he never got like the best pussy he ever got was like on his fucking like gospel tour oh <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And it's like don't be fooled by the religious people oh okay? girl like they're having uh, a good time i mean and, and 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 then they'll cook you a good meal after uh literally i'm telling you right but it's almost like whether it's you're sleeping with people or like a lot of times in those environments it's like making out with this one and making out with that one like i have a friend uh who's orthodox and right. that's like their version of getting around it's like you know, you're dating somebody, but it's like they're really not supposed to touch. So right. it's like it's like they made out. It's like Whoa! do a little p- little pinky touch yeah. on a bench. You're like, like, Woo! It's like Woo! <laughs> making out with a few people in the community. <laughs> anyway, so you're on this track to become a minister. So I'm I'm uh I'm at this college and and kind of the there's three ways to kind of uh, woo a lady. Okay. Uh, that work really well. One is to be an exotic missionary. Because uh, m- girls that want to go into missions, they got to find a guy that wants to go into missions because it's you can't find a dude that's just going to go to Congo for seven years, mm-hmm. you know. So it's like you got to find that. So that's number one. Number two, and sad, uh, it, this is the number one guy that gets everybody, is the dude that plays acoustic guitar. Uh, he is uh, in high demand. I mean, that's a high lot. Demand. That's a lot everywhere, but yeah. Worship pastor or youth minister? Oh, Christian they, band. They Come bring, on, they bring those guitars out, and I mean, they open those Bibles open right the Song of Solomon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right there, yeah. right in the middle, baby. Uh, um, so, you, is guitar your move? No, no, no. So the third way, and this is, I, I think, this is apparent, is uh, I was uh, good at uh, preaching. So I was yeah. a very gifted speaker. Public speaker. So whenever I got a chance to showcase my skills, um, which I was, I was v- very lucky that I was good at at speaking, mm-hmm. public speaking. I was very like a, I had a motivational vibe to it because yeah. I grew up in sports. So you know, in sports, you always have that huddle before you go out. Yeah. There's always the one guy on the team that knows everybody's like thing that gets them jacked, and I was always that dude. Like when I played football, I was the guy that would walk around to all the guys. And and know the thing that would get them that would get them to ten and ready to go. Mm-hmm. And I was that dude. I so I, I always had a gift yeah. of getting people fired up and excited. And uh, so I, I when I came to preaching, I was very good at getting people you know going. So uh, we had a class called homiletics, and so we would record all the sermons so you could listen back to them. So I had uh, I had recordings of all these uh, sermons that I did. 
and you would preach three to four times a semester. So there was this girl that I was like really into. Right. And, uh, I was like, Oh, she's kind of like, she was kind of on the cusp. Like she wasn't like in, in the, the culture of the college. Cause there's always like chapel and, uh, it's like when you go to, when you go to high school, you have the people that are in every class and you have like the Votech kids where they got like a weird side job or something like that, or they're taking college courses. So they're, they're kind of in the high school culture, but not really. Like mm-hmm. she was kind of like a fringe, like our college had a collaboration with the university in the town. So she was kind of half there, half here. So okay. it was like, Oh, half regular university, half yeah. Christian college. Like, oh. Wanted to have her toe yeah. in Christianity, but also kind of in the mainstream. This is, this is like, Christian spice. You're like, Oh, you know? this is like a, this is the hard to get yeah. girl. And she was this like, a, she got a devil and an angel on her shoulder. She was Look a sports her. person. <laughs> she was a sports person too. Okay. And I was like, like she played sports and I was like, uh, I'm a, I'm about this. Yeah. And so I was, I've always tried to like find a way to, to get to, talk to her and mm. i had to like she worked at the student center so i was like oh, i'm gonna find like a way to to like get in and i finally got an opportunity to like talk to her and i kind of established a rapport and then right before uh like a holiday vacation i was like hey i know that you're um god this is so cringy i can feel it oh I my god feel it coming i can feel it coming i feel a church invite coming is oh that what's gosh. coming no, no no okay so what i did was <laughs> oh you're like hey you know christmas i think her come I to think, my you know come to my youth ministry or whatever i think her dad was like a a very like a well-known preacher in the town and she like grew up in ministry so i i i gave her a copy of one of my sermons and i go hey uh, would you like listen to my thing? Basically, the equivalent of listen to my set. Can oh. you listen to my set? And I thought it was like uh, I go, and I would really love to hear any feedback because you grew up in a house. But I thought by giving her my mixtape, my religious mixtape, if you will, oh that she was going to be so impressed that it's going to be like, oh, she's gonna, she's got to get with the kid. Yeah, like that's what I thought. Like I'm like, I'm like, who? She'll be inspired. But by the way, because like I'm also like the a lot of preachers and pastors at the school that I was at are not good at yeah. holding an audience. It's because it's like, I mean, being a preacher for the most part, with the exception of like TD Jakes, who's like, dude, you could not believe a word that dude says and you are ready to leave and yeah. tear through a brick wall. Like it's right. like, like I follow him on Instagram and I'm like, dude, I was <laughs> like, it's so great. Wasn't the other huge one. Like Joel Osteen is the other. No, uh, he's the other one, but you're like, Oh, like that's a, it's a whole different vibe. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, I was like, Oh, okay. But all the dudes that were preaching in our college, like they, they stunk Mm. they just it just it's it's just not good like and so i'm like dude i gotta blow these dudes out of the water so i give her the thing and i'm like i'm just i just i let it go into the universe i'm like we'll wait and see and then about two weeks into uh holiday vacation i get a text message from her and it just says oh my gosh i want to have your baby stop yeah it worked out of the blue Whoa! What? Yeah, and so I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm, I'm. I, by the way, I'm pulling into church when I'm getting this text message, <laughs> which is hilarious. I was pulling in, and I was like, it's almost like I was like, God works in mysterious Ooh. ways. God works yeah. in mysterious ways. Look at it right here. It's all working out, guys. Yeah. I'm pulling in, and she doesn't want me to pull out. That's what I just heard. So That's I, re- what I, just I heard. remember this distinctly. I pulled in, and I had my, I had my, uh, my phone. And I had a, the the razor, the flip phone. Oh hell and yeah! So I'm sitting there, I'm like, and I and I, I literally remember doing this. I remember doing like doing the like a flip. gun holster thing, and I text back. I go, so you listen to my sermon, like just I'm just like doing like a yeah. Um, and then there's a long pause, and then I just get a text back that goes, oh I'm sorry, this was meant for another Justin in my phone, <gasps> and. Oh my god! You go from being the biggest, uh, you know, believer in God to not at all. <laughs> like that spectrum, that fall from grace is heavy. It's heavy. You're like, oh, you you go from being a man of the cloth to just, well, I guess this is just business as usual. <laughs> Turns out Christian girls and secular girls dump at the same rate. Like that's, oh. Oh shit! I was like, "Is that the day you were like, you know what? I don't think preaching is for me." I mean, no, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> but that was like, it was kind of like, "All right, well, maybe I, maybe, maybe just it doesn't matter as much." Ooh. But I was, I mean, yeah, it was. It, that was that's brutal. A, that was a brutal. That's that was a, brutal a big day. twist. Yeah. Oh man, uh, this dude. I remember that was. I, mean, I talked about screenshotting to someone 
I'll never forget the few times you text the wrong, even like just girlfriend's wrong person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That it was like, I remember one day I went through my fucking phone and I added every last name ever. Yeah. And that yeah, last yeah. name, I'd add the line of where I met them. You know, right. there's someone you're like, this person, biology class. Like, fucking, it was like, don't fuck that up right. ever, ever, ever again. Well, that's why I always like, uh, it's something my dad, so my dad, uh, you, ran pool halls and stuff so like my mom had me in church a lot but my dad was kind of like a he he always was not in church like a sinner he was yeah, yeah, yeah. A big that's sinner. how that's what some people would say <laughs> uh but he was like a, he was he was he worked in the oil field and he was also kind of a hustler on the side okay yeah so i always learned uh kind of like uh, if you're gonna do your dirt make sure it's with you present mm. so kind of meeting like even with like the phone stuff like i won't I won't, t- I very rarely text people dirt anymore. I show them or I talk to them on the phone. Yeah. So yeah, there's yeah. like, so there's no way no I can, paper trail. I can't control. I have to be able to control the thing. And I'm like, it's so smart. Like the voice memo mm-hmm. thing, the voice memo thing is so, so smart unless they like keep it. You know? Yeah. It's just more, that's just all tone where yeah. I was like, I do not, I feel it was also, I sat there going, I'm a very own shit when happens. I'm a very, I'll put it all out there. I'm very honest, but there's also just a, I don't want to type this. Right. This is not an explanation I want to type. I'll say it. It'll be more genuine. I like laugh in it. I'm like, like obviously, we know what happened. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, you know, here you go. You want to hang? I'd love to hang. That's it. Or if you have to send, you know, if you send one text message, you're like, I'm going to have to send four more. You're like, yeah. I don't want to do that work. Yeah, exactly. And I literally, at the end, was just even like, and uh, didn't even think, uh, didn't think about how I was going to end this. So, yeah. well, that's that. <laughs> like, you know, and it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's just a more chill vibe. Like, eh, it doesn't bother me as much. But I like it that your, your whole, your whole uh, presence is very much like the door is always open. Which I, I like. I oh, like. No, that it's not. It's much. not always open for everybody. But you know what I mean. But I mean, like, <laughs> like I don't know. I shut doors, baby. Yeah, but, but that's I mean, why that's it's always open. I'll open the door, but then yeah. I'll. That's why I like making the move. Is I'm like I'd rather get my fucking answer. Right. Like I just did questions the last episode, and so many questions I got. From people were like, one was like, uh, I think I gave him mixed signals. Now he's like hitting on other women in front of me, and I'm like, Do you want to date this man or not date this man? Yeah. I go. I don't know what the mixed signal was, but a clear one is ask him out. Right. Ask him out. They say no. You respect the no. That's it. Because I'm like. I, I I have no patience. That's where it all comes from. I'm like, yes, I'm bold, but I have no fucking patience. I'm like, are my op- if my options are wait around for you to do something or I do something myself, I pick I do something myself. Right. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Like I'm like, okay, you're not interested, cool. And then I move on because men like to keep the door open and keep it vague. I don't in that sense where I'm like, you interested or not interested? Right. If they're like, oh, uh, I'm like, no, no, it's just yes or no. You're well, not interested? Cool. If I can That's say fine. if I can say one thing to the girls out there that Yeah, this is mainly women that this, yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. I love it. Um I it's somebody like I've been married before. I was married for ten years. Oof. Um yeah, yeah. And and here's the thing is it's not it was never bad until the end. But like we got along. Mm. We got along and everything was good. There's a lot of things like physically we didn't match up. Yeah. Um and I don't mean <laughs> people, if people size. see the video they're gonna like oh this is a i understand what no 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 <laughs> just uh not a size issue like our our, our needs and, and desires did yeah. not match up but well, again so you had religious, that religious background religious so you we don't you don't know until you're in it yeah but i promise you like now i'm with a girl that i'm like i'm, I'm she's gonna be it for me mm-hmm. like legitimately like she's gonna be my girl mm-hmm. for i mean it because like, we mesh so well in every other avenue yeah that it makes every other relationship that i've had look silly funny you know what okay. i'm saying that's so what most people say they're like you, i never knew how good it could be till i was with xyz yeah, yeah, yeah. person well yeah. you can you can it, but it's also like even if for whatever reason and i'm not saying you know but but if we don't work out she raised the bar for every other woman that i'm ever going to be with Ooh. so it's right. it's the idea that you don't want to be with somebody that's just going to kind of like well okay like just because you get along doesn't mean that's your person yeah like the the idea like i'm like i like i we've been together for two years mm-hmm. now and it's like i all the things that you talk about love and write about love, um, I never really understood them. Even when I was married, like I, it was good. Like my mm-hmm. marriage was good for I would say like nine and a half, nine yeah, years. Yeah, which is a good run. Yeah, 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 but it just it was never like I I I never had that moment of like oh my gosh like my like my soul misses this person, and like mm. I never had that moment. Okay, and I'm not trying to be mean. This girl, yeah. my ex, is an amazing. You know, she's a very sweet person. And she's great, and she's very happy now, and I'm happy for her. Mm-hmm. But it's like, and I'm, and I think now that she has, she has that thing, or she has that thing with her husband yeah. now. 
So it's like uh, it's like we both found our person that like our souls like I don't, I don't know if that sounds corny or whatever. Mm-hmm. No. But you should be with somebody that's like that. Yeah. If you're looking for that. Yeah. So that whole thing of like, a, oh, I'm just gonna. Th- I don't know if this guy or what. Like you, you'll you'll know. Mm-hmm. And so. Well, it's just that's the part that's hard is if you've never had it. Yeah, that's, then you don't know. I, that I understand. So that. I'm I'm in that boat of personally I've never had this serious deep in love blah 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 with the person. I've had the person of I've been having a great time. They're really great and wonderful, but then I have that voice that goes, "You're not marrying this person." Like, right. I knew it wasn't the forever, but I still was sad when it ended. I still was bummed. But it's like, yeah, a lot of times it's that's kind of that's the settling to me is going, OK, this is good enough. I like this person X, Y, Z. You kind of don't believe in those big lovey things. And it's like, yeah, it's hard if you've just never had it. Right. Or it's also hard to kind of like hold out for it. I get right. that, too, especially like if you want children, if you want this, this and that. Or like you look at the paper resume, you're like, well, on paper, they have a good job. They're good to me. They're good to my family. But people that are really in love, that's what they always say. They're always like, oh, I didn't know like this could really be it. Right. And also it made all my other relationships look kind of stupid, right. look silly. I looked at myself and went, you put up with that? Yeah. I can't believe you ever put up with that or yeah. ever liked that person. And I feel like it's uh, for me, I always am convinced people usually are not fully over someone till like someone else comes into the picture, which is also why a lot of people stay in relationships till they find another person. Yeah, (laughs) I don't. I'll leave. I'm a four monther. I I love I love that. I love the idea of leaving something before there's something else to grab onto. Hell yeah. I'm all about that. That's my whole mode. I love Uh, that. Okay, I did send a couple TikToks we do on the show. Okay. I know uh, we don't have too much time, but. Let's see. Go from the let's go from the bottom up. Scroll all the way down. Um, there's one I want to do. Uh, what's purple pill? Go up a little bit. Uh, this one is a very interesting. You're in a relationship. I think you would like this one. So I pull up some TikTok advice. You guys want to submit it? DM me, Instagram or somewhere else. So this is this says don't dishonor a man's vulnerability. All right. Mm. So just load into. So can I share a secret with you guys? Mm-hmm. From a man's perspective, Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you've been with a man three months, six months, five years, or 15. You have one opportunity with a man to dishonor his vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And he he will never look at you the same. He may act like it. He may walk around with a smile on his face. On the inside, he's like, oh, no, I would never. He could be going through the worst thing. He'd be like, baby, how was your day? How how, How many women on this panel right now have heard a man say, oh, it was good? I had a good day. It was all right. And on the inside, he's saying, yep, I went through a whole bunch of shit today, but I'm not telling you because I can't trust you with my vulnerability. Okay. So I think part of this, too, is the classic, like, a guy opens up to you about something, maybe cries in front of you, Mm -hmm. like, needs support, and there's obviously the classic, like, uh, be a man or kind of dismissive. So anyway, how do you feel about this in general, this theory? Don't dishonor a man. Well, I always judge people's advice based off of how they're trying to sell it. Okay. And I... Just and then just saying, like, I there's parts of what he's saying that I agree with, mm. but I don't trust the fact that he's on a pod. I, I'm assuming with a bunch of women, mm. and he before he starts talking, he looks at every single one of them in the eye, which means he's trying really hard to sell them something. <laughs> okay, okay, because like, because like, if I'm trying to get a thought out. I'm making sure that the words are coming. Like, my focus is the words coming out correctly, yeah. not the person receiving it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not the important thing. <laughs> so immediately, like, when I watched this, I was like, oh, I don't trust what he's doing. Because he, he play, he's playing to the room also, yeah. doing a little crowd work, if you will. Mm-hmm. So it's it, the whole thing is like – and also, there, I think there's more to be said about women that, that are ball busters. Because, like, my girl, my girl is a ball buster. Okay. And so I feel like th- – while there is like you should be able to take a man's vulnerability, like and you should you should when a guy's vulnerable in front of you, it should be that. But there also should be that element of like a, all right, kid, like it's tie your shoes and let's go. Like you know, like I a, know, but I think he's saying like the first time it happens, it's very important. Yeah. Of do you accept it and do you make them feel comfortable? Because if you don't, it sounds like then it usually won't happen. Again. I think you gotta be how you're gonna be. Okay. Because that you get, well, his whole thing is like he's trying to manipulate the way people are. So it's like oh, I gotta work on this thing, and you can work on something later. But would that to me, you being like this when you're not, mm-hmm. that's false advertising. Yeah. So that's gonna come up five years, six years. Like as a dude that's been in a relationship for a long time, like these are all like quick fixes, like fixes. Mm-hmm. Like this is a spare tire when you need a, like a, a new tire. Okay. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a fix a flat thing. Mm. You're like, that's not real. Be you. 
Like be your thing, sell yourself. Don't try to be somebody that you're not because at the end of the day, you're going to be somebody you don't believe in. Yeah, true. Because it's just, am uh, I getting way too hyped over one TikTok? No, 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 no. This is the point of the show. We're having, you know, I, I, it's, it's interesting because it's like I want a male opinion and I'm a female opinion. So right. I like having the male perspective. But it's like I just I think of this for myself, too. If it's like, yeah, a lot of times like when there are those moments, I think w- men are kind of I don't know if all men, but I think most men are afraid of like if I'm vulnerable of like that being thrown back at me or the classic like be a man or whatever expectations. Right. But women, when we're vulnerable, like essentially like crying or something along those lines, we're more afraid it's going to scare the person away. Right. But so, but in both cases, I do agree with you on the line of like, people will react and handle it how they handle it, right. and that's kind of just a telling of like, is this my compatibility with this person? Right. Do we mesh well in that sense? And that I mean, that's that's a hundred percent. Like you can't. So like for you, that. you're like, I don't mind you bust my balls about it a little bit. That helps me feel better. But it also makes sense if you're a comedian, you like a little humor. I mean, I do. I mean, she's my my girl. She she will she will make fun of me. Just as much as she like holds me, like I like I'm a right. cry- I'm a crier at movies a lot. Okay, all right. And so like I mean I watch I mean it, it's kind of like a I mean like I'll cry just as hard at like a romantic comedy, mm-hmm. uh, like Enough Said with Julia Louis Dreyfus and uh, what's uh, James Gandolfini. Oh my gosh, when they're on that that patio and he and he just then they have that moment where they're just looking at apart but they're together, mm-hmm. and it it like it gets me every time. But it also uh, the end of the movie Rocky also gets me in the same way. Okay. So it's like a, it's like a hodgepodge <laughs> of like a, a girl's like, Oh, he's so emotional. And then it's like, yeah, but I also do this for, okay. you know, for Rocky All right. also. So, uh, we have hit five o'clock. Is the other person here? No, we, I got time for one. All right. We'll do one more. Uh, scroll up a little bit. Let's see. Um, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, okay. This one right here. Scroll down. Uh, that one, the guys right there. Yeah, try this one that don't trip. <clears throat> this is an interesting pod. Okay, so I will just rewind it. When you're hooking up with a guy and he doesn't finish. Sorry. So what does it mean don't when trip. you hook up with a dude? What does it mean when you're hooking up with a guy and he doesn't finish? Don't trip. We got, got you. you. <laughs> I mean, we can always say the response is like. You wasn't doing something right or he wasn't attracted to you. He probably beat his meat before, like, and just was trying to last hella long, like, or gas station pills or something. He did some, maybe yeah. a little bit extra, or you did something that something happened during the sex that turned him off. There like you go. some some little things can really turn guys off, like, like just a whiff of something, a different <laughs> position that kind of hurt a little bit, and it's just like it's not you. It's just maybe they're not feeling that same intensity. So that's something you communicate with them. Like you just be like, "Hey, what was up?" Like, yeah. You know what we need to fix, like what, sure. we, what we need to upgrade, and don't don't be hurt by it because y'all don't finish all the time. Yeah, like y'all don't finish all the time. It happens. So that's it happens. Dead. Like, what does it mean? Okay, when- I listen. These two dudes I see all the time. I often really like their advice. This was the first time I saw a clip by them that I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I have never heard men talk like this. Oh, about well, like this answer. Y'all this don't answer. finish all the time. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Oh. That's a crazy ending. You guys I'm don't a, finish all the time, so like, what's you know? I don't, I don't know if you could feel it online. The tension as being a Ooh. male guest with Erica when that was said, but wow, I almost as a dude, I wanted to like drift out of the frame, like I was. Laughing. Well, it's crazy. Like uh, they're, they're sitting there being like, well, when the woman doesn't finish, they're almost indirectly being like, I'm probably not doing uh. something right. But I have, I've asked men this question several times. I feel like every single man is like. Yeah, this often has absolutely nothing to do with you. The only part that felt true was them being like, maybe he jerked off before or he took like a gas station, but like he might have done something that it just threw off his game. But like suddenly when he was like, you know, sometimes you get a whiff or a smell and it like essentially turns you off. I was like, men are disgusting people. And I thought nothing throws them off that way. I mean, first of all, not to, you know, (laughs) this is not, this is not a, this is is funny. I, I, you know, I'm not normally like a dirty, you know, yeah. um, But I will say, that even Reggie Miller misses free throws. Okay, all right. And yeah. So, um, yeah, I just I think there's 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 lots of different explanations, but I just I like I don't know. I've I've also have never had this problem. Okay. Because I'm I'm also like a very and I think maybe it's a for dudes that uh, hook up a lot. Mm, maybe this is, might be an issue more 
But I'm always the first thing I'm always attracted to any person is always like emotionally mm -hmm. and like mentally, like that, like that whole thing. So like I'm attracted to your vibe before anything else. Right. So when people like look at oh like this or that, you know, like a whole thing, like uh, um, like that's not the first thing that I always get. Yeah. Like that vibe is always the first thing. Mm -hmm. And if I'm in on something, like I'm in. Okay. Makes sense. And so, but I guess maybe that's just me. Like, but it just you're hearing these dudes, talk, and you're like, oh man, like it's just. And maybe, I mean, I, they seem so. Young you don't agree too. with this, essentially. They are young, but they have given they have given good advice in the past. I've seen, but this I was like, what? but also it feels like they're very like they're the mode is their gratification over anything else. Yeah, and <laughs> and I and I'll say like like physical intimacy uh, with a, with whoever you're with is a journey. Yeah, and, and I I've, don't agree with the attraction thing because I'm like, they're hard. There's like two issues with men yeah. and sex, right? There's the the guy that like just doesn't finish when you have sex, right? Isn't interesting. I've been there, and you're like, okay, but the not getting it up, okay. But to, at all, that, I feel like, like that's a different. story. That's what I'm though. saying. They're a different story. But to be like, oh man, they're not attracted to you. I'm like, he's hard. Yeah, they're attracted. That's not right. That's not at all what's happening. I was consistently hooking up with someone that would just take a long time to finish, and sometimes they didn't. Right. And it does get to you. You go, oh, is it me? And it's like, no, it's not. They're in their head about fucking something. Right. Or sometimes they go, ah, oh, sometimes it just takes a long time. Well, that's the other. I think the, the one thing that I have I have felt uh, pressure before is that does feel bad when you have somebody that is working very hard to satisfy you, and you're like. Oh, like you start feeling bad yeah then it is like you're like they're doing I've so like that. i appreciate them so much and it's like i can feel that it's gonna be whatever and it's like and i was like it's it's kind of a thing that i had to i it's a communication issue i had to do it with my with my girl but it was very much like a okay like how much like when do i need to say like hey i love this and it's great but it's like i don't want you to work this hard to the point where you the point where you resent me like <laughs> it's that's not, it's not a resent but it's i've had that mentally of uh like specifically like with a guy going down the minute my thought is oh i feel bad this is taking a while right. i'm not gonna come like right. it's like well bitch it, like it ruined the thing now i feel bad yada 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 so i've i've been there too where you're kind of like okay let's just like transition to something but else i also I feel, feel like as a partner you can also like curb that mm -hmm. as well where you're like uh, the encouragement uh, from the other. When you feel like it's taking a long time, the positive affirmation mm -hmm. aspect of it can help that also too. Yeah. yeah where yeah. you're like you. I mean, like if yeah, <laughs> you you've pulled me from clean to filthy now. Sorry. This is this is a whole call. Cold, cold. If you don't want to get into too many details, you don't no, have no, no. Because I've but, had that with a guy, and I've after he was kind of concerned, and I was like, oh, I was like, no, no, that no, was no, not at all you. I said I got the thought in my head of this is taking a while and I felt bad. Right, right. I said, and I knew I wasn't going to get over the finishing mark. Right, right. Nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with your skill. I was like, it was an all me thing. But I feel like if you, if you're in that moment and you're like, if you get, if you get positive affirmation from him mm -hmm. where you're like, Oh, I like, I love doing this. Yeah. Like, I'm it. like I, this is my favorite. Like, I don't care how long this takes. Like, do you feel yeah. that vibe yeah, yeah. right there? Like, that's the whole thing. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, like, yeah, like, I, I, absolutely. When somebody gives you that affirmation vibe, not only does it, like, kind of calm you, but now you're more into it. Okay. So it, it raises a level, too. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's a whole thing. Yeah. That you kind of, when that situation is happening, that it's, because, like, a lot of people are like, how long is this? Are you almost there? Like, Ew. how close? Yeah, Ew. you see, it's the opposite version. Yeah. And so a lot of times when it's, when it's something like that is taking too long, you're doing it in your head. Because mm -hmm. you're like, oh, this is taking too long. Oh, I hope this doesn't happen. Oh, this might happen. It's usually for dudes. You're like, oh, no, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen again? Like, it's almost like, it's like batting. Yeah. Where you're like, you start going 0 for 3, and you're like, am I going to go 0 for 4? Am I going to go 0 for 5? Am I going to go 1 for 6? Like, it's like the yips, basically. Yeah. And so as long as that's in you, but if you have somebody that's like, I don't care how, I don't care about your yips, I'll be here through every yip you could possibly mm -hmm. have. Right. Then that's like a, that's like a, oh, like, they believe in me. <laughs> true. And so, Very true. So basically, these are immature idiots that don't know how to communicate. So and you don't you don't agree with? Did that. I go way Fonzie. too hard on that on that clip? No, Fonzie, no, you did, dude, it's, it's a dumb yeah. clip. We don't care. <laughs> We're just having a good time. But no, this is this advice. I'd be like, I, I'm mad. There's so many likes on this stupid TikTok. I'm like, this is terrible advice. Highly disagree. Fonzie disagrees. Justin disagrees. We got many men. They have a lot of followers. You touch their thing. That being said, I'd still have them on the pod, even though I yeah, think yeah. this is an immature thing. Uh, <laughs> if they want to come on, yeah, they have what over half a million followers. Yeah, like I said, this is this is a weird. 
Well, I don't know. TikTok could go away tomorrow. So yeah, or it's like, or, or with any problem, it's like, all right, maybe it happened one time with me, but like if this consistently happens for you with multiple women, then that's right. a thousand percent not on me. You got a, you got a whole thing. You got a whole issue that you need to deal with. Yeah, this that's not my problem. Go see a doctor. Men don't see doctors. You should. And that's coming from someone who doesn't have health insurance, and still will go I see don't, a doctor. Uh, what about Hannah? That that what uh, is this? The answer was so nice, but their faces told the truth. <laughs> that, God bless her. Uh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> someone was like, "Are you on antidepressants?" I was like, "That is another option. That actually <laughs> tends to happen for both men and women." This is crazy. God, nine times ten times, I'm just too drunk. Oh, that's also a common thing for men. Either you're too drunk, you don't get it up, or you're too drunk, you can't finish. That's a that's a more realistic answer than this bullshit they gave. It is wild how many times people go through TikTok comments. My girl's a comment it is person. Crazy. And I, I go, because like, I just think the content is all that matters. And then there are people that just go through and like, then read comments. Oh, I mean, some some videos, the comment makes it funny to me. The comment <laughs> yeah. section's wild, and I'm like, oh, I'm a fan of these. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, we do have to wrap. Uh, everybody check out Justin Special, Coordination, yeah. on YouTube. It's free. Check it out. Watch Very it. Sick. And you can follow him at Justin Smith Comedy. Even if you're not sure, you're going to commit to the whole special, okay. which is great. And it's clean, you know? Uh but uh, you can follow me on YouTube or on uh, Instagram, Justin Smith Comedy. I have a few clips from it up there, so you can kind of get a sample. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. You like, if you like the vibe, go watch the whole thing. And you can watch it with your mom, with your grandma at Christmas time. It's clean, yeah. You know? Good you're, on a, you're on a date. You're on a date. You don't really know where he's at. <laughs> you know? There you go. Yeah. It's a perfect date night. It is. That's always a good plug. Yeah, you can watch it with anybody, and you'll have a good time. And I've worked with Justin. You're very, very funny. So I'm very excited for you. Yeah. Have a special coming around. So, anyway, guys, you can follow us at Shooters Gotta Shoot Pod. You can follow me at Sparica with two A's. And uh, submit us your TikToks. She wants to talk, submit questions. Uh, I'm going to be doing that from now on on the show. So, thank you for coming on, Justin. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Love you guys. And uh, see you all next week. Bye.